Vassalero. Only on WCCO, there's concrete evidence tonight that a dangerous invasive fish is here in Minnesota. Tim Adams says he caught this silver carp today in the Mississippi River in Winona. It's the same kind of fish that has wrecked lakes and rivers in other parts of the country. But this is the first time the fish has been found this far north. James Shugel shows us exactly why this catch is so significant. It certainly wasn't the catch Tim Adams expected. There's got to be some here. He's a commercial fisherman the state hired to find flying carp. He finally did it on Friday after past attempts proved unsuccessful. He says a silver carp got caught in this net on the Mississippi River. And I walked through and I said, oh, we got another big head. And I said, no, it's a silver. So I grabbed that one quick and um, we, were, we were quite surprised. <laughs> this discovery is significant. The state has already found the flying carp DNA in the river. But this is the first time someone's actually caught one of these flying fish in Minnesota. They're destructive forces that have overtaken rivers and stripped the pleasure out of boating. The carp catch comes the same day the governor wrote an editorial about the Asian carp threat. He stressed how critical it is to act as quickly as possible to stop the spread. They would forever change the ecology and human uses of many of our water resources. The governor says barriers to stop the carp's migration are key. Crews will build the Coon Rapids Dam higher this summer, so carp can't leap over it. They're coming. Tim believes They're more flying head. fish are in the water. It'll only take one, one good spawn if there's enough to spawn and it'll be all over. See how quickly they've spread in other rivers and fears what could happen in Minnesota if head. more isn't done to protect our precious waters. Tonight, the Department of Natural Resources has the fish that Tim caught. He's a well-known commercial fisherman who fishes the Illinois River, too, that Asian carp have also taken over. So if anyone knows what these things look like and what they can do, Tim is the one. Frank Tim also caught a big head carp in the Mississippi yesterday. It doesn't fly, but it does devour all the food in the water. Bad news. Hopefully now that someone sees the reality of it, maybe something will happen, James. Absolutely. We're waiting for a response tonight from the DNR. All right. Thank you.